Romans, <clears throat> Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are Hamashiach, Yahushah, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. For the law, for the law of the spirit of life in Hamashiach, Yahushah, has made me free from the law of sin and death. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahushah by Hashem Kakudash. The Wadi of Hashem Yahushah for giving us the apostles and the elders of great millstone who deserve double honors rightfully so. Shalom on to the Akim, pushing the word of sincerity and truth, being faith based and being prepared for what is to come and what is to come. Race war with famine, concentration camps, the RFID chip was the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles hitting the sides of America. Simultaneously, the chairs of Lord lift the whole collect into the chambers. Simultaneously, the chairs of Lord shooting laser beams at ungodly and heathens. Rightfully so. Hey, Albert is our launch of the course of this video. Just a vessel seeking salvation. Out of this filthy place, especially on the Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Babylon, and all the other filthy customs they have taken upon. Yeah. Um, right now, Time is 6, 11 a.m. in the morning, Saturday, June 17, 2023, the year of the whole full year, all prophecies come to pass. And um, as you can see, a lot of great things is happening. And based upon these things happening, it's a clear indication that um. We're almost out of here. We are almost out of here. Despite all the thoughts you have and all the things you're going through, we're almost out of here. And trust me, whatever you're going through, the Lord, um, He's um putting you through it to test your spirit, cleanse you, keep you focused, and build your faith up. Most importantly. So, yeah, um, this is really commercial again. And the Lord, I'll write us out and give me some other verses for the spirit. And, um, yeah, so I want to um, get this in a different translation. All right, the first verse, um, Romans. Um, the name of this chapter is Deliverance. The name of this chapter, Romans chapter 8, Deliverance from Bondage. Deliverance. From bondage. All right, so it's um Romans chapter eight verse one. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in a Mashiach Yahushah, who walk not after the flesh but after the spirit. Con condemnation. Let's get into that word real quick. Condemnation. Let's get it in the dictionary. Do we see what it says in the Greek? Condemnation. 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 The expression of way strong disapproval censor. 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 Express service disapproval of something or someone of something censor especially in a f formal statement okay now let's censor it's um yeah censor All right censure censure it is a noun that was a verb as a noun. The expression of formal disapproval. And that goes into 
condemnation. All right, let's get back on this one, please. All right, condemnation, the expression of a very strong disapproval, censor. The action of condemning someone to a punishment. Sentencing. So, condemnation. So, there's no condemnation. Right? There's no condemnation. Based upon what Yahweh Shah have done for us, I brought this out with those men. There's no condemnation. Right? There's no sentence. There's no disapproval. Let's read it again. There, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Hamashiach, Yahushua, who walk not after the flesh. See, and we'll prove that if we walk after the flesh, then we, you know, we caught up in our sins and we do fall. We all, we are sinners. You know, we already, we, we, we in this flesh, we sinners. You know, but based upon what Yahushua have done for us, we, we are, um, we have a, we have a, sh a a sure chance, should I say? But after the spirit, so if we stay spiritual, if we do things according to the spirit, we will have a better chance. We have the greatest chance right there. So let's see something. Let's see what condemnation in Greek. How you say it in Greek? Um. Strong's G, 2631, Katakrima. 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 That's how you say it in Greek. It says, damnatory, sentence, condemnation. So, same thing. Damnatory. Let me put some. That sound like, let me see. Damnatory. Damnatory. Confinery or causing con censor or damnation. The case against you was most damnable. I mean, damnatory. Was damnatory. The case against you was damnatory. Whoa. You know. So, if we break, you know, if we break the law, since we sinners right now, we all be dead. You know, based upon what's saving our behind is Yahweh shot. This is for those who say that, um, oh, we don't need Yahweh shot. That's what they say. But based upon this verse right here, this, um, this meaning of this word, they have come to nation, Greek. Strong's G, 2631, Katakrima. Katakrima. Based upon that, Katakrima, um, we have, let's read this again. It says, Romans chapter 8, verse 1. There is, therefore, no, now, now, that simple word now, no condemnation to them which are in a Mashiach. And how are we in a Mashiach, Yahusha, who walk not after the flesh? Because we're not at, we're not chased, we're not doing things according to the flesh. We're doing things according to what after the spirit. We're doing things according to the spirit. That's what's holding us together, man. Let's see something real quick. Let's go across reference real fast. Let's see. Now, no. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's get a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. Let's read this real quick. It says, um, oh, man. Right back to the, I love this chapter too. You know, Romans, I love, this, I love Romans chapter 5, but I'm reading Romans chapter 4, verse 7. Saying, blessed are they who iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed 
is the man who the Lord will not impute sin. So, impute sin. All right, let's go real fast to this. We'll come back to that. I want to see this. Let's go to this chapter real quick. Let's see the name of this chapter is. Mm, mm, mm. Um, the name of this chapter, Romans chapter four, is um the justification by faith. Evidence in the Old Testament. Mm, that's the name of this chapter. So it's a lot here. So, so I just want to get to the point where I was at. Um, let's hold on. I'm going to go back. Seven. All right, yeah. I want to see what it says in the, um, in the, um, in the NLT. And it is in Romans chapter four, verse seven. Oh, what, oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiving, whose sins are not, whose sins are put out of sight. And that's where it's at, man. And we don't, let's read on. Let's go to the next verse. Let's lock here. All right, let's go to the next one. Real powerful stuff right here. This is this is this is for those who who um. All right, you you know um you know people say oh, you know oh my you know my family they did all these things they burned in hell no. You're going up into the spirit world. There's no place of burning down there with poly um I mean whatever the hell you call this damn. Um, no, you go. Everybody um, goes up to the spirit world, but at the same time, if you if you um, you know, uh, we talking about just the Israelites, okay? But right now, the whole elect, the remnant is going to be saved according to Yahweh Shah. If their sins are pardoned, okay. Bless. Oh yeah. Yes. Oh, this is Romans chapter um, 4, verse 8. Yes, what joy for those who record, who, whose record, who records the Lord has clean, who records the Lord has clean of sins. And how did he clean your sins, man? By his blood, man. Let's go back to the word input, input, input. So I like it. Impute. Impute. Represent something, especially something undesirable as being done, caused, or proposed by someone. By someone's attribute. Attribute. Right. So that's impute. Impute. So let's go into the um impute in the uh, that's how you say it in Greek. Uh, 
Oh, wow. All right, it's a lock here. Strong's G3049. Lagizamai. 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 To reckon, count, compute, calculate, count over. To take into account. So, to make on account of. All right. So we know. Do I have about Shemir al for not um? I'm counting your sins. All right. So we went to that word impute. Impute. Bless is the man who the who the Lord Yahweh will not impute sin. Will not count your sins, man. So you ready? That's see what I'm saying? So the Lord, he could be sent right now, he could be looking at your ass, saying, Oh, maybe we did this, maybe we did that, maybe we did this. You should be happy he's not <laughs> doing that. Alright, it's a lot here. Let's um Right here. Um, this is Isaiah chapter 53, verse 10. Yet it pleased the Lord, Yahweh, to bruise him. He hath put him to grief. When thou shalt make his soul an offering for sin. He did this for you, Yahweh Shah. He shall see his seed. He shall prolong his days. The pleasure, the pleasure of the Lord Yahweh Shah shall prosper in the land. So Yahweh Shah, when we go into this chapter, Isaiah, we're talking about Yahweh Shah. Isaiah chapter 53, it's talking about Yahweh Shah, what he has done for us. Hold on. I don't, I don't go somewhere real fast. Let me see. I don't know. I'm going to go up. That was a verse. Let's see. Uh, Yeah, there you go. Let's go to let's go to um um verse. See, I tell you, look what he did for look what the, look what the king did for us. You understand? Look what the king Yahweh Shah did for us. The Malak Yahweh Shah, the Malak, are the one Yahweh Shah did for us. All right, Isaiah chapter 53, just getting to the point. Isaiah chapter 53, verse 3. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrow, and acquainted with grief. And we, is that? No, it's a lot here. Is that it? Yeah, you can read that anyway. Acquainted with grief. And we, Hid as it was our faces from him. He was despised and we esteemed him not. We didn't give him his glory back then. You know, the elect, they, you know, you know, um, you know, they mourn for him. But right now, he get right now we um um we mourning for him too now. Now we understand the full circle of it. Verse 50, it was 54, I mean, it was 53, verse 4. Surely he has borne our grief and carried our sorrow. Yet we did not esteem him. 